Hello, I'm Macrina from Anetti Bindings and in this short video I'm going to show you how to make a simple wheat or flour paste. As a disclaimer, if you're involved in more advanced conservation work, then it would be better to find more specific knowledge on different types of paste because they have different properties and may be more suitable for particular conservation work. However, if you're just getting started with binding, a very simple wheat or flour paste can be used for a variety of applications, including mending paper tears, making paste papers, and mixing with PVA or using instead of PVA. The first step is simply to mix your flour and your water. Um, I am doing two heaped dessert spoons of flour. It's just, this is actually self-raising because that's all I could get, but just any wheat flour. In half a, half a cup of water. Now, the measurements are not exact. You'll have to feel your own way. Um, but this is what what I'm doing for the course for the purpose of this um, this video. Or this thing. I mix it up a bit, and then I'm going to. Leave, I find that it's best to leave it for about half an hour or so, just to allow the um, the flour to seep into the water. Right, it's now half an hour later and the flour has dissolved well into the water. So I'm putting it in the double boiler or really just a pot of boiling water. Uh, and I'm basically going to keep stirring it on a low heat until it comes to the boil just about comes to the boil. And you basically just want to let the mixture cook slightly. After a while you'll notice that it starts to get thick and that's when it's sort of almost ready. but I normally leave it until there are some bubbles on it. And here it is. You can see that it's a fairly thick consistency and that it's gelled together well. I then set it aside and leave it to cool. It will become thicker and if it develops lumps you can just get rid of them with a hand blender although some people also sieve it but I I've usually just use a hand blender. Right now true confession I do sometimes out of laziness not use a double boiler this will probably receive criticism from purists um, because it will burn slightly and also mess up your pot, um, but it is time saving. So I'm doing that here as well as an alternative, not that I'm necessarily recommending it. If I do this, I do it on a lower heat, otherwise it will really scorch. Okay, this is starting to thicken and it is developing lumps. That's inevitable with this method. And it is also burning the pot, which is also inevitable.
actually I did manage that without burning the pot too much but it has got lumps and so I basically just mix it up with my hand blender and here I have two lots of paste one done in the double boiler and the other in an ordinary pan um, and I can now use these either for te uh, tear repair or for paste paper or for using as glue or mixing with PVA. One final point, your paste that you make will not last all that long. It's best to use it right away. You can keep it in the fridge in a sealed container. Uh, but you will find that it doesn't last too long. There are things you can put into to preserve it, but it's so simple to make that, yeah, that's why I make fairly small quantities, unless I'm doing paste paper. Um, but you'll have to find that out as you go along. But be aware that if you leave it more than a few days, it will start growing moldy.